Welcome to Green Numbers Data Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use macros in SAS. With macros, you can make your code more reusable and flexible. Reusing code can save you a lot of time and reduce clutter. Macro programming can seem daunting at first, especially if you're new to programming. But if you focus on and practice the basics and build out from there, I promise you'll find this skill very rewarding. This is the first video in the macro series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use a macro variable. In other videos, I'll show you how to use blocks of code to do repetitive tasks and how to use if-then logic and loops to process large volumes of data with very little code. To start, we're going to be using the cars dataset from the SAS help library. You can see that in addition to make and model, this dataset also has lots more information about car models, such as type and MSRP and miles per gallon. You should have access to this dataset as well. In example one, we want a commuting car. So we're going to print the make, model, type, MSRP, and miles per gallon highway as listed in the var statement of our proc print. The where statement tells SAS to only print out or make equals Toyota. And we also have a title for our output that indicates we're focusing on Toyota models. And when we run this code, we see all the information we're interested in. Now we can use this information to make a more informed decision about our purchase. Now suppose we like the simplicity of having one make for each table, but we wanted to look at makes other than Toyota. We could copy this block and paste it below replacing Toyota, for example, with Ford. And then we could paste another one for Chevrolet and another one for Acura, and so on. But it would be easier if we could just reuse this block of code. And one way to do this is by using the let statement. So let's add a let statement before a block of code. The let statement starts with the percent sign, followed by the word let. Then we add a space and name our macro variable. Let's call it make val. Then we use an equal sign to assign a value to it. This time, let's assign the value forward to make val. Although you can in some circumstances, we typically don't enclose the value in quotes. It will be inserted into our print block verbatim. We can also output the value of our macro variable to the log by using a macro put statement. The macro put statement begins with the percent sign, followed by put, then the name of our macro variable, makeval. SAS knows this is a macro variable when we put an ampersand in front of it, like this. So let's run these. Now when we look at our log, we see the value of our makeval is Ford. And we can use our macro variable in our print block by replacing Toyota with our macro variable name, makeval. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste it here. Again, we need to put the ampersand in front of it. One important thing to note is that macro variables inside single quotes will be interpreted literally by SAS. In order to use the macro variable value inside quotes, as we need to here in our where statement, we need to enclose it in double quotes. Likewise, we need to replace Toyota in our print statement with our macro variable, including the ampersand, and also replace our single quotes with double quotes. So when we run our print statement, the first thing SAS does is replace our macro variable in the code with the value we assign to it, in this case, Ford. And when we run this, now we see that our output shows models and information for Ford, and our title has been updated to Ford as well. So if we want to look at Honda, all we have to do here is replace Ford with Honda, and then we run our code again, and now we see our output are Honda models, and our title has been updated as well. Now let's suppose our budget for purchasing our car is limited, and we want to isolate cars that are cheaper than the average MSRP in our list. In example two, we start by finding the average MSRP by using proc means on our data set. We're focusing on the variable MSRP. And instead of outputting the stats to the results window, we're going to output our stats to a new data set 
called MSRP means. And when we run this code, we see that our new data set includes various statistics, such as min, max, and mean. In this case, we see the mean is $32,775. Now we could just copy this value from here and paste it into the data step code, telling SAS to limit our models to those less than this value. But maybe these values are constantly changing and we'd like to write some code and run it whenever we want without having to replace the mean value in the data step. This is a good opportunity to save the mean value to a macro variable. To do this, I wrote some data step code that uses the keyword null, which tells SAS not to generate a new data set. The purpose of this data step is solely to assign our mean value to a macro variable. So we need to set our recently created data set MSRP means that we created up here in our proc means and we write an if statement. If stat equals mean, again, this comes from our output, stat equals mean, then use the call simput to create our new macro variable. The call simput syntax is as follows. First type call simput, then open and close parens, and inside the parens, the first argument is the name of the macro variable we're creating inside quotes. In this case, we're naming our macro variable average MSRP. The second argument is the value we're assigning to average MSRP. This comes from the MSRP variable from here, 32,775. I also included a put statement so we can see the value in the log. So let's run this code and take a look at the log. And we see that the value assigned to our average MSRP macro variable is 32,774.85514. And lastly, I created a data step named cars mod that sets our cars data set. This data step includes an if statement. If MSRP is less than our average MSRP. Notice that MSRP is a numeric value. So we don't want to enclose our value in quotes like we did in example one. Again, when this code is run, SAS first replaces a macro variable with the value. So when the data step is run, it will read if MSRP is less than 32,774. So let's run this code. Now we see that our new data set includes only the models that were less than $32,774. A really useful and versatile way of assigning a value to a macro variable is by using PROC SQL and using the INTO clause. In example 3, I use the MAX function to select the maximum value for MSRP in our data set. Again, for this example, we're using our CARS data set. And we assign the MAX MSRP using the INTO clause. Note that the syntax requires a colon in front of our macro variable name. And you can see that I'm outputting the value of max MSRP to the log. So let's run this code. And we see that the maximum value was 192,465. The next block is a data step that creates a new data set named highest price, setting again our cars data set. And it includes an if statement, if MSRP equals the observation with the maximum price. So when we run this code, we see that our new data set includes only one observation, the one with the highest price, the Porsche 911. Example four is a lot like example three, except rather than assigning just one value to our macro variable, we're assigning multiple values. What we're trying to do is create a data set that includes all models for the makes that include at least one model over $85,000. Let's start by looking at our where clause, where MSRP is greater than 85,000. This means only models that meet this price will be returned. Because we're generating a list of makes that meet this criterion, there may be some makes that have more than one model over $85,000. So when the select clause, the distinct argument is needed. So we only output one of each make that meet the price threshold. 
In the data step, we're going to be using this list in an if statement that uses the in operator. And because our values are text values, they need to be enclosed in quotes. The cat function or concatenation function adds single quotes around the make value included in our macro variable list. We're creating a macro variable named expensive makes using the into clause. Because we're expecting more than one value, notice that we're separating our values with a space. Again, we're outputting the macro variable list to the log. So let's run this and look at the log. We can see that there are four makes that had models that were over $85,000. Acura, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, and Porsche. You can see that each make is enclosed in quotes and separated with a space. Our data step creates a new data set named highest price and sets our cars data set. The if statement reads, if make in one of the makes listed in our list, then output to highest price. Remember that SAS will replace our macro variable with our list values before the data step is run. So it'll be the equivalent of, let's go ahead and copy this here, of this. But because we're demonstrating the macro variable, let's undo this and go ahead and run this block and we see that our new data set is comprised of the four makes in our list. Even the models of these makes that are not above $85,000. And that's it for this video. If you practice and become familiar with these fundamentals, I promise you the more complex macro code will come much more quickly. Be on the lookout for other SAS macro videos where I show you how to use blocks of code to do repetitive tasks and how to use if-then logic and loops to process large volumes of data with very little code. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get more content. Thanks for watching.